Welcome to this special edition of FHS Spotlight called Admin Adventures, where FHS students and staff are able to learn more about our administrators. This morning, we have invited Assistant Pr Principal Mr. Williams to be our first guest. Good morning, Mr. Williams. How are you today? I'm doing well, Connor. Thanks for having me. No problem. So first question to start us off is where did you go to high school? So I went to uh, high school in Clifton Park, New York, which is in upstate New York. Uh, the school was called Shenandoah. Uh, it was a huge high school where I graduated with about 700 students. What was high school like for you? Um, high school for me was uh, definitely revolved uh, around uh, my friends. Uh, you know, I definitely, it was really important for me to be in classes with them and, and to hang out with them. Um, you know, I did definitely uh, want to do as well as I could academically. My junior and senior year, though, I, I'd like to say that I could have those years back because I, I, I wish I tried a little harder. And uh, sports with soccer um, was, was a big part of my life. Oh, nice. Why did you get involved in education? Uh, that's, a, that's a great question. I think um, from the time I was in high school, I was actually a... Uh, soccer camp counselor mm -hmm. and during that time being able to to teach younger uh, students soccer and, and just teach them about life in general was something that really interested me mm -hmm. um, my favorite subject uh, growing up in high school was always history and so um, I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to you know a great mix of having the history love and and the love of working with um, with students what does an average day at FHS look like for you? It's, it, it's busy. Uh, there, there's no doubt about that. Um, a lot of conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's conversations with students, conversations with teachers, uh, with, with parents, um, with my, my admin team, um, with, with the counselors. It's just, um, it's constant communication about what's gonna help students succeed. Um, and sometimes there might be a little discipline that goes along with that. Um, that. That's a piece of the job, but it's also, it's about helping students. Um, if I'm lucky, I get to go into some of the, the classes, notably the um, more so the English and, and PE department, mm -hmm. to see some of the exciting stuff that they're doing in their classes. Um, and, and then I get to spend, you know, from about 11 o'clock to one, uh, doing one of my favorite things, and that's watching high schoolers eat during lunch duty. Oh, that's great. What do you like about your job? Um, you know, it's, what I really enjoy about it is when I'm talking to people, when I'm talking, whether it be teachers, families, students, um, that, you know, it's really a people who want and need help. And, and so to be able to have the creativity the, uh, and to try to solve some of their problems mm -hmm. um, with them is, is really exciting and very rewarding um, when, when we're able to do that. Oh, that's nice. Is there one thing you, you wish you knew as a high school student that you wish you knew now? Yeah, definitely. Um, one thing that I really remember as a high school student was I thought, like, I'm either good at this or not good at this. Mm. And if I wasn't good at it right away, I just, I would put it to the side and not really try. Um, and one, of the, I, it's one example is music. I, I, I felt like I wasn't good at it, so I never gave it a shot. And I wish that I realized, you know what, I'm 16, 17 years old, I still have plenty of time to, to be able to get good at things. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what I would say is if, if you feel like you're not good at something now, you still can get good at it. Like you don't, you don't have to just get rid of it for the rest of your life. Oh, that's nice. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, so <laughs> as some of you might know, I, I have a 19 month old daughter. Uh, Olivia, who is, um, she's a ball of energy and, oh, yeah. and a lot of fun. Um, so really my, uh, my life is dedicated in a lot of ways when I'm outside of school is just spending as much time as possible with her. Really enjoy that. Um, do when, whenever possible, get, try to get together with friends, go out to, to a nice, um, nice dinner or, or be able to, to watch a game, you know, March Madness coming up, hopefully oh, yeah. be able to do that. Um, but really, uh, so much of it is about um, spending time with, with my family. What is one word that describes your experiences at FHS? Ooh. Um, it, I said a little bit, the, the, you know, I, I'll narrow it down. It's busy and rewarding. Um, I think, you know, it, it's constantly on the go, but I think at the end of the day, when I see students, you know, come in as freshmen and then when they walk across that stage as, mm -hmm. as graduates, when they come back to visit, 
um, that is, that's a really rewarding experience. Is there anything else that anyone should know about you? Hmm. Um, let's see here. I'd say that if I'm really, if I really need something to eat, I'm gonna go for a burrito. A burrito. Yeah, and uh, is that. Is there any reason behind that? Or? Uh, y you know, I it's got a nice mix of flavors. I'm a big guacamole and sour cream mm -hmm. fan. Yep. Uh, so if I'm hungry, that's what I'll be jonesing for. Is is a nice burrito. Uh -huh. A nice burrito. All yeah. right. Well, thank you for coming on, Mr. Williams. I hope you have a great day. All right. Thanks for having me. From all of us at the Panther TV, thank you for watching.